going to say it's a good thing you just got me out of that room. Yeah, we was all getting, it was getting quiet. Getting no, quiet. I'm saying with LL because I was just about to challenge him to a pose down. Oh. Oh, you yeah. mean this kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't want it. He, you know, he, he... Well, look, you're fit, you're in good shape, but that's, that's, a, that's a man's physique right there, isn't it? He looks a little small compared to me, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know each other from way back, I guess, do you? Uh, was he one of your influences? Was he someone you, you grew up listening to? Were you a fan of uh, LL Cool J oh, in the course, early days? of course, man. Come on. What, what was your favorite uh, LL Cool J track? Uh, Rock the Bells is probably the first. Rock the Bells is a great track. It was probably the first one that I heard. LL was actually, like, hearing him rap actually made me want to rap. Really? Yeah, man. That, that, was, that was what did it for me. And then I think when the Beastie Boys came out, then I kind of felt like, oh, it was possible. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But LL... <laughs> seriously, you know, LL made me want to rap. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, LL's uh, acting as much as doing the music now, probably more so. Uh, you acted for a while. Uh, did you see Eminem in the movie Eight Mile based on... <laughs> That was a great performance. That was a, I thought a tremendous performance here. Really good screen acting. And, you know, I, I was skeptical. I thought, is this going to be any good? You know, sometimes because I saw the Vanilla Ice movie, too. and that wasn't any good. I don't know if you saw that. But you were great in it. And the guy, was it Curtis Harrington directed that? Curtis Harrington. Yeah. Uh, he did a, a terrific job as well. And I thought, okay, we're going to see more of you. You're going to do more movies. I expect to see you do what? Nothing. What happened? Why not? Yeah, but I just, you know, I love music so much, man. This is my passion. This is what I want to do. Not saying that I won't. Do a movie ever again, mm. but this is this is me. Do you find that you're writing different stuff now? I mean, obviously, I know it's very much about you always write about what's going on in your life at that time. But are you slowing down? Are you changing? Are you writing about stuff which is more to do with being an older guy? Well, I don't know about that, but uh, but I am definitely. Uh, I think I've definitely changed the direction from the last record, from Relapse to this record. I think I went a little bit different direction. Now, Relapse, okay, it sold like three million copies, I think, and uh, you won a Grammy for it? Th yeah. Yeah, but then I read somewhere you're not happy with it. You weren't particularly pleased with it. Now, what does it take to make you pleased with something? <laughs> it's like well, the biggest selling rap album of the last... Uh... I mean, it's not that, that I wasn't completely happy with it as far as, like, you know, when I put it out, obviously I was happy with yeah. it or I wouldn't have put it out. But looking back on it now in retrospect, I think that I feel like there was a lot of stuff on there that was uh, really humorous and shock value, but but... I had to go back and listen to some of my older material and, and, and try to figure out why these songs off Relapse weren't making me feel like those used to and kind of put the feeling back into what I do. I know what you're saying, yeah, so there's like the classic tracks you've written that really were unique and maybe stuff there which is, which is good enough and you enjoyed it at the time, but it's not stuff that you want to be considered your best work. Well, it's one of those albums that I think Relapse, you can listen to it straight through and, and there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of funny moments, yeah. humorous things, but... Yeah. There's a lot of punchlines and jokes and things like that, but I think that once you listen to it once, it's kind of like I felt like, at least I felt like, the joke's over. I see what you're saying. So, so it's not something that, that you can continuously really listen to over and over and over. But I like, I always like the stuff, that your stuff is funny, as well as sometimes being intense. You know, it's very funny. There's always the jokes in it, so I'm, yeah. I'm hoping there will still be in the new album. Oh, I mean, this album definitely, uh, you know, I don't think I missed anything with the humor. There's definitely some humor in it, but also I, I, I felt like, uh, you know, I felt like I wanted to, okay, that was, you know, relapse was cool, like it was, there was a lot of funny things on it, but now I want to get serious for a minute and, you know, just put some emotion back into to what I'm saying. Do you always rap or do you ever write songs that you would sing? I, I, I sing sometimes on records. Yeah, and I think I'm going to start my R&B career next. Yeah. You know, like a, you know, like a real kind of like a stylistic track or something like that, you know? Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I can't sing, man. I can, I can hold a note, like I, I can, I can... I can hit certain notes, but I can't, like, hold them, yeah. I guess. You I know, know what you mean. And there are guys out there who can really sing. People who really got these yeah, great voices. Yeah, no, I'm, and... I'm not, like, a single you, singer. But, but. but when you're home, if you're at home either relaxing or if you're in the shower, do you sing then or do you rap then? No, nah, I just, uh, I think of lyrics in my head all the time, though. And what do, you, what do you write your lyrics down in? Do you, use, do you do it on a computer? Do you write on a scrap of paper or you just keep it in your head? I, I, I try to keep it in my head, but I write... Everything, anything that's around that I can write on, uh, this desk, whatever, you would I'll write it on down. it. Yeah, because, I, like, I'm not good at, like, keeping thoughts. I get scatterbrained sometimes, and, and I, I, I might try to remember, like, what was I thinking of earlier? And I won't remember it, so I've got to write it down. So I write my rhymes on anything do you that's normally, available. So you normally have paper and pen on you, or do you use a phone or something like that? What do you do? If you um, came up with an idea, say straight after this, if you came up with an idea, what would you do? What would you reach for? 
You see, grab a piece of paper. Yeah. And just scribble it down. No, just... Okay. Yeah. And do you have the old raps, you know, the early ones that you wrote? Do you have them still? Because uh, in the movie, I don't know how accurate it was, but you're writing them in a notebook, like a school book almost, yeah. on the bus and going to and from gigs and holding them. Do you keep them? Have you still I got save, them? Yeah, I save, yeah, I save all my rhyme books, my right. rhyme papers, whatever, envelopes, whatever, you know, little sticky notes, whatever it is. I save them, I put them all into one. It can be in the M&M Museum one day. Maybe. Uh, will you give it to your kid? Is that what you do? You're going to save it? I'm going to save it and maybe I'll pass it down, yeah. you know. Definitely. Um, we had Jay-Z on the show a while ago and uh, he's still, you know, at the very top of his game. And I know you're going to be doing some work with him uh, later this year. Yeah. Okay, over here or in the States? Uh, in the States, we have a show in Detroit at Comerica Park, and we have a show at Yankee Stadium. Now, that's fine, but there are many fans over here who are saying, when are we going to see Eminem performing over here again? Oh. <laughs> well, you're going to perform just now, so that's something. But really, have you got, are you going to gig again over here? Are you going to do? I know it's a big uh, thing. Maybe, people yeah. I haven't, like, I'm kind of just taking it as it comes, you know, a day at a time, and, you know, seeing how I feel when I get out there and everything. But lately, you know, I've been enjoying the shows that I've been doing and yeah. stuff, so... You know, right now it's spot date, so I, but, but I haven't, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't rule it out. Uh, Jay-Z uh, headlined at Glastonbury over here, the big festival over here, and did a great job, and everyone loved him when he did it. There was some controversy initially, oh, can, there, can a rap act hold this kind of festival together? And of course he could. Would you do that? Would you come and do Glastonbury, one of the big festivals? Maybe. Are you asking me to do, yes, I do am. it right I'm now? Yes, I am. I'm in charge of Glastonbury. <laughs> uh, it's my new job. Uh, would, you like, would you like to do Glastonbury next year? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? That's not good enough. I mean, maybe. I gotta see how I feel. Sign there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a pen? Uh, okay, uh, and uh, the album's finished? The new album's finished? Because I haven't got a copy. I've heard the single. Uh, the album's out in June. I'm guessing, is it all put to bed now, or are you still uh, sort of just finished? No, it's it done. It's finished. It's mastered. It, it'll be coming out uh, June 22nd. It's great to have you back on the show. I appreciate you coming back on. Uh, you know I'm a fan, and you know you have so many fans here in the UK. They're here in the studio, and the home watching. You know, and... Um, they're fans for life. You know? We respect your talent and we enjoy it. So thank well, you thank for coming you. back over. Thank you. Please, I hope you do come and do some, some big gigs over here. That would be great. Okay. okay. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to perform live. It's Eminem. Great stuff. Thank you. 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 Thank you